Mm. And Ginger, another thing you're going to be reporting on next week is the Navajo Nation yes. and their lack of electricity. Can you tell us a little about it? It floored me. Uh, in Navajo Nation, there are still 15,000 homes, estimated 60,000 people, that don't have electricity. Mm. The year is 2024. Wow. And it's not just because they're rural. They actually live under power lines and have for 60, 70 years. But those power lines were not for them. What states are these? This is in northeastern Arizona, okay. where we went with a guy named Brett Isaac. And he has lived in this oppression of being disconnected from the world. How do they manage? Uh, they, they manage, and they've adapted. But he it's said, like the Amish. Yeah, and, and here's the even crazier part. Yeah. His father, his grandfathers, um, his uncles all lived in the coal plant that fed those power lines wow. that didn't go to their homes. Well, how do we get them electricity? Yeah, so Brett's doing it. That's why he started yeah. Navajo Power, because he said, I can't do this anymore. Right. And plus, that coal plant shut down. And so he started this solar company, and they're going to have a huge solar field on uranium mines, but wow. also he's going in off-grid solar and bringing it. So we got to go to this woman, Eleanor Paddock's house, and got to see her get electricity for the first time. Oh. Beyond turning a light on, beyond having a refrigerator to put your stuff in. Yeah, there's wow. that. She was most excited because she's a substitute teacher about doing her lesson plans at home, That's plugging a in her laptop. It's a combo oh. for Jennifer Granholm and also for Deb Haaland, who's yeah. the first Native yeah. American on the And cabinet. she definitely knows. And I have to say real quick, there's another layer. It was called the Bennett Freeze. And that was a law until 2009 that essentially blocked electricity from getting to those people. So wow. when we talk about Political. environmental injustice, yeah. it's not mm -hmm. back in the 1950s and 60s. It's so warming. Well, and Ginger, wow. you're such an important voice on our airwaves talking about climate change and what we can be doing and what we need to know about. And the Copernicus Climate Change Service released a report recently that said we had the warmest march on record this year, mm -hmm. which continued a pattern of 10 consecutive hottest months on record. Yeah. How concerning should this be? It's always concerning when we see how rapidly the earth is warming. And yes, it has always warmed. We have been in cycles. That's what earth does. But it's why we're warming. Mm -hmm. It's because of emissions primarily right now. Mm -hmm. And so to see it when we have 2012, when you had a month or two that were the warmest on record, when you have 2016 or 17, I'm forgetting now, you have a month or two, 10 months in a row, we are in unprecedented territory, and it's not just, oh, this tiny bit. On the graphic, you're going a half degree, which is huge when you're looking at the global average temperature. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yes, extremely concerned. Ginger, next week, ABC News is kicking off a new series for Earth Week called The Power of Us, People, the Climate, and Our Future. Mm -hmm. And you'll be reporting on solar geoengineering. Mm -hmm. Can you break that down for us? Yes. And so this is something that people misunderstand quite a bit. Basically, we have engineered our atmosphere already by emitting greenhouse gases mm. that has warmed it. What this is saying, and we've known how to do this for a long time, it's just we haven't yet done it, is that we could engineer clouds, put mirrors in space. It is very shocking for many people to know that some part of the United States do not have light. Some part of the United States do not have electricity. When you go see that where I come from, I'm from, I live in the United States, obviously I've been here for a while, but basically my origin, I'm from Africa, Cameroon precisely, which is in the north, um, Cameroon precisely, West Africa. When you go ask people where I come from that, you have part in the United States that there is no light. No one will believe that. We knew that, um, America, uh, when I was little, they told me that from um, New York to heaven is like one dollar, which means that's how beautiful, you know, um, they present heaven to us as a very beautiful place. We read the Bible, it's beautiful. A lot of, you will have a lot of facility there. So we believe that America was just like the second heaven. It's so beautiful. Uh, how can it, they don't even have light? Say that if they see light for a very long time. We well, no one want to believe that somewhere in the United States there is no light. Some people can never believe that. America that will have all the good things. We have heard so much about the United States. It's so pretty, so beautiful. How can it be that there is no light? But of course, me to our surprise uh, that there is no light in some part of the the United States and it has not been for a long time. The people say they manage. At the end, they even show the substitute teacher 
who mm -hmm. put her plant. She was very excited. When they brought that light, she put her uh, electricity. She had a freezer and she put her plant inside the fridge and she was so happy. Oh, it's nice to have electricity because I'm from Africa and where I come from, we have electricity. I don't know if I can live without electricity. I'm going to cope without electricity. So I want to thank God that I have electricity. Where that's why we can see this video because of electricity, because of the light. If there was not electricity, this video could have not been possible. So you watching me could have not been able to watch me right now. Um, she went ahead also. Ginger went ahead and talk about that most Republican say climate is um is a is like is a quack they're lying like people could um, when they come and talk about the climate so they will be raining so they will be cold they are quack they don't even believe in them obviously she said no that's reality so they are trying to make awareness for many people the younger republicans are coming to believe that climate change is real that's why sometimes when they announce some places that flood is coming everywhere to live some people will not go and so like katrina that happened when they announced that flood was coming some people left and some people stopped only remain because they didn't believe in all the climate people telling them to move so based reality they should move because they are they are saying the truth um let me see your opinion where you live have you ever heard of somewhere that people live without light because in africa only the when you don't have light will be like in the some of the rural area like the villages some of them don't have the most at now even have all light have all do have we have few so if they say there is no light people always refer to it's africa it's africa there's no light there's no food basically this is my first time that's why the war is a universe the world is a small place so it's not because you're from africa from america we are all human beings and we all have to learn how to appreciate each other we are from africa we are not from we are no animals we are not from the zoo we are human beings and we live a normal life you have people that are educated and you have people who can you have everything you have it's a normal world it's just the difference of the continent what do you think have you ever heard of those people no having light in the united states 1500 people let me see your opinion on the comment section thank you very much for watching if you are not subscribed please help subscribe and help share the video 15,000 people thank you very much for watching if you are not subscribed please help subscribe and help share the video 15,000 people god bless you